Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. It looks pretty awkward, but this is a safety device. It's called Hans, and it protects my head and neck in an accident. It was only introduced into F1 nine years ago, and does a similar job to the airbag you have in your car. In the beginning, it was too big to be worn in single-seaters. In cooperation with Mercedes-Benz, a more suitable version was developed in 1997. It has been mandatory in F1 since 2003. It's basically a shoulder bracing, made of carbon fibre, so it's very light, about 200 grams, and each device has to be personally designed around the driver. The carbon structure has the two straps, which you can see right here. They have to be attached to the helmet. In an accident, the Hans device has made a massive step in reducing neck injuries for us. We see very clearly here how the hand system works. Beneath this wide belt, which is standard in Formula One, is where the actual hand system is secured. And if due to the enormous force of a head-on crash, the driver's head comes forward, you can see here that this belt stops it going too far forward and thus relieves the strain on the neck muscles and also on the driver's spine. This is a human neck. As you can see, the atlas bone is holding up the entire head. Also, the ligaments of the cervical spine are responsible for the stability of the spine. In case of a sudden impact, these joints of the cervical spine are extended up to 5 cm. The head and neck support system reduces this extension and protects the neck against hyperextension. In case of high-speed accidents, the neck could snap like this match. With hands, it cannot happen. It could easily withstand a force of one to two tons, and as a result, it is now accepted in Formula One and other motor racing series around the world. And do you want to know something incredible? Every seven seconds, somebody's life is saved by a road car airbag every seven seconds. Hans is the airbag of Formula One. It reduces neck motion by around 46% and the force of impact by around 86%. That is very significant. In fact, it's probably the one safety change in recent years that has most dramatically reduced driver injuries. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.